Last time, we made the most of being denied at the U.S. border and took our motorhome to Golden Ears Provincial Park. We did some thinking and decided to spend the winter traveling Thailand and Bali until we can come back and RV across Canada in the spring. It's 3.30 a.m. and we're on our way to the airport. Ooh! Let's go! to Vancouver and we're getting ready to get on our 13 hour flight. Yep, had some Subway, got some snacks, got some water. Where do you go with Ganjao? All right, four, 4.30? Four. four. 4 a.m. from Vancouver time. We've been awake for over 24 hours now. This is a weird airport and the staff is not very friendly. Waiting on the shuttle to get to our terminal, get a hotel, get some sleep and we'll figure it out. Travel day. No contact solution, no deodorant. It's all in our checked luggage. So we gotta live the night with that here. But we found the Pullman Hotel. The city reeks of smog. But we gotta get going, Alicia's tired. Get her to bed. Another exciting day on the road. Let's go check into the pull man. Checked into the room. Got everything all figured out. We can finally get some well earned sleep, I would say. Let's check her out. Grab the continental breakfast before we leave, which should be pretty yummy because this host hotel is pretty fancy. Nice to get some sleep. We got what nine hours of sleep after 26 hours of being awake, so that was nice. Mm -hmm. I expected that we would have to pick up our bags here, but there you put our bags straight to Chiang Mai. So we just had our carry on with us, <laughs> so same clothes, no contact solution, no deodorant. Let's get it. We've arrived at our first Airbnb condo check-in. Let's check it out. We're just getting here after a busy few days. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, this looks nice. Check it out. Wow. And there we are. Our first Airbnb in Chiang Mai. And we're on the top floor. All right, so we've arrived in Chiang Mai. It was super easy. Like everything that you need is just at the airport there. We exchanged our currency into bot. We got a SIM card for my phone. We ordered a grab on my phone to come to the Airbnb. And it's all super simple. We were in and out, like, I don't know, within an hour and a half, we were here. And it grabs a taxi. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you didn't know, Grab is um, like Thailand's version of Uber. We mailed our passports off to the Thai embassy in Vancouver before we left. Um, because if you get a visa on arrival in Thailand, I believe it's only a maximum of 30 days. Uh, and we wanted to stay for close to 60 days. So we had to get the visa before we left for Thailand. Yeah, it was really nice too, already having a visa when we landed at Chiang Mai. We didn't okay. have to wait in the line for a visa on arrival. I'm glad that we had a visa. We just had to go in the regular lineup, get a stamp, in and out. It was so quick. Yeah, extended stay, pre-approved. 
not gonna get turned back at the US border on that RV trip, so. Yeah, we didn't want any hiccups. <laughs> That's right. So, unpack here, and then we're gonna walk the streets and head over to the, there's a mall in the area apparently, so we're gonna go lay the land and check it out, grab some stuff. So in case you were wondering, you can't bring lithium batteries in your luggage when you go to China. I only read that you couldn't bring a power bank in your luggage to China. You had to keep it in your carry-on. Apparently that's the same for any extra lithium batteries that you have. So we had five batteries taken from us in the Chinese airport. Um, one for the drone and four GoPro batteries. I just read it over again and it might be just China Airlines that you can't have lithium batteries in your suitcase. I don't know. I really don't. This mall's pretty cool. We made it. Checking it out. Gonna go grab some grub in the food court. There's a night market right up the mall. It's pretty cool. We're looking at it from above, so we might go down there after too. Yep. Grab some grub and then check out the night market right below us. below the mall had some curry Japanese style in the Coco's curry house we ate there in Japan so with a little tribute and then Thai food next time but I had to get the Japanese curry in first but we just saw hedgehogs in the market that's kind of sad cool but sad that they're right at the corner there all right morning everybody day two in Chiang Mai here we got back from the mall yesterday in the street market Found a nice little wallet and I think we paid just over $7 for that thing, so I'll show you that in a moment here, but on morning of day two, the whole day has thunder showers coming down actually, so check this out here. It is really coming down right now. I don't know if the camera's doing this justice, but check this out. Just listen to it. I'm gonna have to find some indoor activities to do today. I guess the mall would have been maybe a good idea today. Maybe we'll have to go back there. If we can even get our way there. Holy cow. All right, so here's my wallet I got last night that I mentioned. It cost 180 baht, which was just over $7 Canadian, I believe, there. Nice little simple one. Got card holders, spot to put your photo ID, little coin zipper there for all the coin currencies they use here. That'll be nice. One pouch for bills, two pouch for bills, so you can keep bigger bills, Smaller bills, the 100 baht and the 500 baht bills are very similar, so that'll be easy to separate them. And then, nice big coin zipper all the way across on the top up there as well. So, for seven bucks, that's gonna be my travel wallet. Not too shabby. So, we're in the room that's still hammering down the rain. There's a big tropical storm rolling through. Huge lightning strikes have been going off with thunder coming down everywhere outside. And now we're in the room trying to decide what we're going to do. Might grab in one of those Uber grab taxis and go somewhere like the other mall and check out that just because it have to be something indoors it looks like. And now we just had a power outage here too. So we're now out of Wi-Fi and chilling in the room in the dark. This rain has been going all day. It's scheduled to go all day. Just look at it coming down back there. And this probably isn't even the worst of it. We are waiting for our taxi to go to the Central Mall. All right, another iced coffee we've picked up here. What do you think, Alicia? Southern coffee. It tastes so good. Nice. Shopping haul complete. Let's get back. Go grab a grab. I got one of every kind of Red Bull. Apparently, this is the original, so I got five. To the right, to the right, to the right, right, right. Check back next time when we try out the Thai Red Bull, take our first Song Tao to the Night Bazaar and try some local food, and visit some temples in Chiang Mai's old city.